They're clearing space beyond the outfield fence on Sheffield for a David Bodie statue <laughs> here at Wrigleyville. And a Hollywood ending for David Bodie, a 25-year-old who's been sitting idle in the bench for 25, for, for eight innings, gets a fastball down in the zone. Perfect swing down, a magical swing, a magnificent result with the bat flip. That's one that Mr. Bodie will never, ever forget. Oh, man alive. Hinch hit, walk off, grand slam. In all a result of baseball gods do not lie. Wilmer Defoe on the miscue allows this inning to continue. A misplayed ball, two hit batsmen, and Max Scherzer's brilliant night is wiped away completely. My goodness. And Matt Jess for the Cubs, this is one night they can look back in the middle of October and say, hey, this has the feel of 2016. This has a magical feel as well. Wow. David Bodie. What a moment. A fantastic finish at Wrigley. And a 4-3 stirring Cubs come from behind win. Coming up next is Sports Center. Tomorrow, exclusive coverage of the Mets and Yankees at 7 Eastern. For Alex Rodriguez and Jessica Mendoza, Matt Vaskersian saying good night from Wrigley Field. Sports Center is next with John Bucigras and John Anderson. This is Sports Center in America. This is David Bodie. David, what does it feel like to hit a walk-off grand slam at Wrigley Field? Unbelievable. I mean, great at bats all around. Jay Hay running that ball out, expecting 90. Contreras battling two pitches off there, fouling off, getting hit by that pitch, and got a good pitch to hit and hit it. Looked like it was a pretty good two-seam fastball that was down in the zone. Uh, what was your approach at the plate? I mean, you lifted that thing up in the air, and it was below the strike zone box. So they've got me down there all, all series yesterday. Uh, I knew he had that little two-seam sinker in there. I was trying to get uh, underneath it, just like you said, and I got to center field. Man, you knew right away. You must have squared that thing up right on the barrel because you knew right away it was gone. I, it felt good off the bat. I, the wind was in killing balls all day. I was hoping it uh, had enough to get out, though. Now, you've had a walk-off walk and a walk-off grand slam. Which one's better, David? <laughs> <laughs> They're both great, just as great. W is all that matters. What's it like right now? What do those fans sound like to you? I can hardly hear you. They're that loud. The best fans in the league. Go Chicago. We love you guys. That is really cool. Last time you got a walk-off home run in any level was when? Never. Wow. First one ever. All the way back to Little League. All the way back to Little League. I think it's my third career Grand Slam. Once in high school, once in low A. And then obviously <laughs> this one here in, in the big leagues. This one's uh, just as sweet. Who's watching on TV right now that's screaming the loudest, do you think? My wife's probably waking up our kids right now. She's... <laughs> She's probably in there, my brother's out there. Uh, I mean, all my family, that's just, it's incredible. It's unbelievable. You are getting cooled off by your teammates right now. <laughs> Willie's the man, Jay Hayes the man, everybody. I mean, it's an unbelievable clubhouse, unbelievable group of guys. It's such a great team to be a part of. How do we celebrate tonight in Chicago when you do something like that? I'm gonna go home and sleep. We got an off day tomorrow, enjoy that. I don't know, <laughs> we'll, see. we'll see what happens. What are you gonna eat? First thing you go back in that clubhouse, <laughs> what are you gonna chow down on? I don't know if I can eat yet. I'll probably just have to wait till I go home. Great stuff. Hey, man, David, you made our night. You made America's night, unless you're a national fan. That is great TV. You go celebrate and have a great time. Thanks, John. <laughs>